We have an important announcement today, everybody. On the show, we're going to share with you how you, yes, you, can create a minimum of six transactions in 12 weeks. We'll show you how today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now, and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling, and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now, your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, hello and welcome to the Wandering Without Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 117. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Yeah, Jenna Brown, we've been working on this for months, actually, haven't we? And we are ready to rock and roll. We've been working on the actual program we're calling Real Estate Sales Builder for months. But honestly, Matt, I believe this has been... 30 years in the making. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Absolutely. The last 29 plus years of my life and experience have been poured into this wonderful program, I believe, that, that is the foundational program of, of those years of experience and yours. And we've got Cosmo Moravi, our other partner, his input because he's an agent who's uh, been three years in the business and has, has gave, up, gave us a lot of insights into what people need today. Uh, plus, I've gotten back into the real estate uh, sales side after being a broker for so many years, and this has just been needed. We needed it for our company. You know, we're, we specialize in helping teams and brokers run their companies and run their teams. And I think we realized that there really wasn't a really awesome core foundational course available. No, I mean, we've experienced that in our own uh, uh, paths in real estate with the different companies that we've been in and the different brokers we've worked with and all of the clients that we've been uh, working with over the past five years uh, at WBNO Coaching. You know, there is that need and desire for something that's going to be able to not just be that one-off little thing where someone will, you know, have it to be having it, right? Something that's really going to help agents build a foundation so they can do business, right? Because for a broker, that's going to keep their age account up and attrition down. So, you know, and for an agent, it's going to put money in their pocket. I'm going on trips, which, you know, of course, is the reason why I do everything. So there exactly. you go. And, then, and now you can get out and do the trip. So today yeah. is a special edition of our podcast because we are going to give you some insights into the kind of things we think you need to be doing that I need to be doing that I'm actually doing to start a new business in a new state. Already have one in Nevada, have a team, it's working, we're, we're maybe going to increase and add a few people. I'm starting fresh in a new market and I have to implement the things that I, that, that I actually put together in the training program, right? So we're walking the talk and we're gonna be able to share exactly. And I'm gonna take you in the, in the coming weeks, we're gonna take you down a path of sharing those successes and bringing in other people that have been working with our program and uh, sharing other ideas because we really want to get this podcast to be all about and our YouTube channel to be all about giving you things you can use to drive your business to, to reach your goals. So we've always done that here, but we're going to even be more strategic. Yes, more forward, focused. More yeah. focused on sharing real world things and, and continue to do that, but we're framing it all up in, in uh, this core foundational course. Now, for those of you listening that have been with us for a while or you find us here on YouTube, hang in here with us to the end of this training, this this uh, podcast today, and we're going to share what we're going to give as the, you know, the pre-launch uh, pricing for this course. You're not going to be able to find it anywhere else unless you are listening to our podcast or you come across or you subscribe to us on YouTube. It's going to be for a, a, a listener and subscriber discount only. And then uh, based on, uh, so we're launching this. When are we going to be launching the program? Matt? Probably mid-July, but we'll be up. We, we'll have more information on that in the next week or so. We have a couple uh, um, obstacles right. we need to, so to we're figure out to first. Talk about it now. It is called yeah. the Real Estate Sales Builder Program. And our goal is to have participants. This is a self-guided coaching program with and we're going to go in and talk about how what we've covered here because it's got everything for the basics and the foundationals uh you know in designing this i looked at it like if i was starting fresh what's the training because i am actually 
Yeah. <laughs> that. That's the what beauty is, of it. What's the guidance, the coaching, the training, the support? What are the systems that I need to put in place to run a real estate business like a business to not just make it all about sales? Now, this is the foundation of building more sales, but the spin on the way we coach and train is it's sales with system so that you are a true business owner. So right. we do this so that uh, one of the things that I found that was lacking is we have, we have a brilliant team builder program. You know, that's our specialty. But what we recognized over the years is that people start building teams and they don't even have the foundations in place. And our, our current program called Connecting Your Real Estate Business does have some of the foundational stuff, but it's nothing compared to what we just completed. Yeah. Uh, it's out. There's some outdated material in there, and this is actually taking the place of that. So, if you're a listener and you had that program before, we'll be reaching out to you because we're gonna. You're going to be able to have this program replace the connecting your real estate business. That's right. And um, for anybody that's been a coaching client, I'll be reaching out to you. But for everyone else that's listening, just hang in there. We're gonna talk to you about getting on the list so that we c you can get the introductory pricing. Uh, and this is not some kind of a sales technique. We want some individual people to jump in and work with us and kind of beta test this and walk through the program with us. Right. And depending on how many people we get enrolled, we will uh, potentially uh, include in that some group uh, mastermind that we may put together included in the price. OK, so uh, so hang in there and we'll just kind of go through it all. OK, so. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, tune in, and you can watch us on YouTube. Real estate sales builder. Uh, so we have real estate team builder. And then down in the future, we may add another program, which is that intermediate program um, called real estate business builder, okay, which just takes the foundational stuff we're going to cover with you today in sales builder and takes it up a notch. But you don't even need that because frankly, the way we designed, I mean, we'll get to that if we want to get to that, right? If we see that there's a need for some additional up-level systems, you know, to, to go. So we designed the sales builder program to do a couple things. Number one so critical this is the thing i see in all my coaching all the time is it's not just to train the foundational systems that you need to do in the in the business right. from business planning to work with buyer sellers lead generation and all that and we'll, we'll go into those details in a moment but i feel like what's lacking is the discipline and the uh, priorities around what it takes to be in the real estate business and so everything in this training is about helping everyone and by the way it's not just for new and newer agents it is designed yeah. that if you were new uh you could pick this up and run with it and it could complement anything that you're getting in your other company uh, in your company now uh, or you might find in your local association and so forth where there, there what we don't teach in this course is how to write a contract we talk about how to structure a contract and how to negotiate a contract how to get a listing um, how to handle objections. But what we don't talk about is here's the paperwork that you fill out because that's specific to your area. Uh, we don't talk about all the tools. We'll talk about you need to get a CRM. So you may have wherever you are, you have a CRM. But the foundational principles of what you have to do because the CRM is your foundation, we talk about in the course and we show you how to implement that. We share dialogues and scripts and campaigns and everything because this is the thing that we're, we're known for. We don't just tell you what you need to do. We tell you how to do it. And then we actually give you the systems to take and customize and implement for yourself. And I was trying, I forgot to ask you this before we started, Matt. Do you remember offhand? I bet you do. How many videos there are? There's 12 modules. How many videos and how many downloads we have in this course for people? 119 videos. And that's just the actual course lesson videos. There are some bonus videos in here as well. So there we're probably up to 125, probably total videos in here. And the downloads uh, are right around 100 downloads. And I think what Jan was talking about is a, a critically missed step in any training program. You can talk how to do it. And most training programs really are kind of high level. So you're kind of getting the, this is the, what you should be doing. And it's a little bit high. It's not giving you the, 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 the ground, you know, boots on the ground like we do. Uh, but also it's one thing to say, you need to build a checklist or you need to go out and do that. And everyone knows you might need to do it, but doing it is the hard part. So we've taken that out of the process. 
we built it for you. So all you need to go in and customize it. That's going to, you know, to make it fit your business. To me, that is the critical thing that sets this program. Well, one of the critical things that sets this program really apart because you're able to jump in and start implementing immediately. And that's fantastic. Uh, don't, and don't be overwhelmed by 120 something videos. These are bite-sized videos. Okay. Well, yeah, Some of that's them, what there is. 120 of them. Some of them might be two or three minutes long. A few of the tutorials may be 10 or 15 minutes long, but it's designed for, for me, for all of us. Today's consumers were really like, let's get to it, right? Let's get to it. No one's going to sit and watch an hour webinar. So it's designed for all types of learners, number one. So we're laying down the foundation. We are training you on what's working today, the yep. traditional things mixed in with the technology and all the things that work in today's world. That's there, of course. A good training program needs to have that. But here's where we're a little bit different. We believe that you've got to, the thing I was going to here, you have to instill the habit. We have to get the habit of what you need to do on a daily basis to make the business work for you. And we all know what that is, and that is lead generation. So it builds from module to module introducing different kinds of concepts. So if you are a newer, newer agent, you can go through it chronologically. It starts with the fundamentals and what it takes to, to be the skill set to be good in the business and business planning. And it ends on business and financial basics to run your business and all the meat and potatoes is in between for how to do the business. Okay. With everything that we just said. So that's, we got you covered on that. We, everything we always do has actionable strategies at the end of every module where we say, we just taught you everything about the fundamentals and business planning. Now here's your six or seven things you need to go do. Go back and watch the videos if you need to, but you need to go do these things and get it in place. And then we build on that and we keep building on um, different ways to prospect and lead generate and, and find your niche, your niche, right? So when you're done with it, the goal is, and this is the thing I want everybody to hear, no one needs to go take a training program and sit around for 12 weeks and actually not get any business. So That's we right. are insistent on you do the training. You can do it in 12 weeks. It's designed to do it in 12 weeks, but you could do it in 24 weeks and take two weeks to implement the stuff. But what you need to do every day, five days a week, is some activity that is getting you in front of people that want to sell or buy, period, end of story. So we instill the success habits for a profitable real estate career. And it is really all about lead generation. It's about networking. And so we're gonna help you over the 12 weeks design the perfect program for you how do you build your database? How do you continue to stay in touch with your database? How do you lead generate? How do you follow up with leads? How do you do a, open houses more effectively? How do you, what should you do online? What can you do on social media? Um, we cover the gamut so that you can choose two to three things that you're gonna own. And then you're gonna get up every day and you're gonna do a, a morning routine. These are the daily habits we believe in. A morning routine that sets your mindset right. Schedule in your time block in your, uh, calendar that you're I recommended in the morning that you knock out the follow-up calls and all the things that you need to do lead generation can also be I'm holding an open house today great that counts and then you put time in your calendar to get the other things done that are in the training now what a lot of people will do and this used to be me too and I'm I fall into this trap so I have to do the same thing oh this is kind of cool let me go set up all my systems and then I'll go get some business and if you're the kind of person who does that then you won't be in business in 12 weeks so we lay the foundation that it's working on and in the business with a priority on the in the business, the day to day, what you need to do to get people in your pipeline, convert them to people who want to buy or sell houses. If that's it, real estate is all is that it. That's it. This program shows you how to do that and helps you define what you're good at. But that's the key to it. We are also the other goal in this program besides the foundation and instilling those habits is to teach you how to consistently build and maintain a pipeline of people who want to do business with you now or the near future or even later in the future. OK, and then the um, obviously the ultimate goal is that you close transactions and you earn commissions. OK, so oh, that. that's it. So we we want to uh, we're going to demonstrate right now. If you're listening, just go over to the video. I'm going to describe what we're, we're showing you, but we're going to give you a little sneak peek of what the program looks like online and give you a little taste of what the modules are. And uh, it's it starts with before we jump into 
to module one, um, we, we created a really cool activity and tracker program. So we have a, an overview section where you set your goals for the program. You set your goals for maybe the rest of the year. Okay. If you're starting right now, for example, it could be your next six months goal at very minimum, the 12 weeks of the program. And it, and then we have developed this thing called the real estate tracker, real estate activity tracker, which tracks your goals. You put your goals in and then you're able to, uh, follow along in the modules where every week you're setting goals for your legion, tracking things like calls you've done or whatever it is you've done, you've, you're, you're working on for that week. And so that's the, in the business and the prospecting and so forth. But it also has you just focus on three priorities that are in the module, because honestly, we, I do give you probably five to 10 things you need to go do. But we find that you know everyone's overwhelmed. So what we're saying is these are all the activities that you need to go do to implement um, open houses. How to affect And to be fair, houses. the cool thing is a lot of, the, some of the things on the checklist you may have already achieved. So you can bypass yeah. those, check them off and right. just move to the other things. So we're it's looking very at complete, you. whole, beautiful person who runs a real estate business and is successful and is leveraging technology and the tools so that they can do what they're good at, which is talking to yeah. people and meeting people and negotiating sales and just doing it as a solo agent, by the way. That's the whole focus of this program is just you. You know, other programs we have will build on hiring a virtual assistant and building a team and so on. So this is just the foundations, right? So we have that, we show you how to use it and we're constantly instilling you go back and track your results in the tracker, right? That's what's gonna help you build the habit and sticking to a calendar in a perfect week Okay, as we continue to build on the skills and the and the uh, things that you need to know to do the business. Okay, so that's in the overview, and there's a tool to help you stay on track, and it's it's a self coaching type of a tool, right? And and if you use it, it's your own self accountability. Now, the after that, our first module, and we're just going to demonstrate a little bit of it, is called the Fundamentals of Real Estate and Your Business Plan. Now, this one is a bit longer than the others, and it's meant to help the person who's newer in the business um, understand everything from what's your job description, what literally are you doing as a real estate agent, uh, down to um, what it, the character traits for real estate success, how to avoid common mistakes agents make. Uh, we cover something called the four guiding principles for real estate success that everyone can benefit from, helps you make the best decisions on things you're doing in your business. We cover key tools and systems that you need to integrate. Then we get into a whole section on business planning from writing smart goals in your life, determining your income goals by understanding four key numbers, things like your business budget, your home budget, uh, money for taxes, money for savings and fun and things that you want to do to come up with how much money you want to make in a year and then break that down into um, the number of transactions you need and then go deeper into how many appointments that you need and then how many contacts you need to do to build the foundation of your business, right? Uh, and then we get into a section on creating your business action plan is the final piece of business, by the way. And so this is why there's like 16 uh, yep. lessons in here. And we always start with an overview and downloads. And in the overview, and can we go to that real quick? In the overview and sure. download area of uh, module one is in overview and downloads, we have basically, here's what we're going to cover in this module. Here are the objectives. And then here are all the downloads that support this module. And Matt has them zipped up if you wanted to zip them you know, just hit the zip file and download them. But we also put them up individually because maybe you just want to come back and get the goal writing package, for example, or you actually want to download the business plan itself or maybe just the home budget. And then it always ends with also a let's get to work checklist. That's what we call it at WBNL. We always end every module with, all right, you watch the training. Here's your actionable checklist. Get to work. Okay. And Matt covers that and he covers the let's get to work sections with you. So there's always an overview and downloads and there's always a let's get to work. And then there's so many modules in the, in the beginning, in the middle. And uh, module one has the most because we are talking about this introductory stuff. We're covering business planning. And then we are talking about these five or six um, key, what I call the um, daily disciplines. And it's your morning well-being practice, how to design and follow a perfect week. Uh, lead generation one to two hours daily. Uh, how are you? How do you be, start to become an industry and market expert? What are the skills? What are the tools and resources to use to start uh, understanding that? This is the foundational stuff, and this is why I love this program so much because it's, it, we designed it for everyone. Because I coach so many agents who really need this training. 
you know, I, over the years, I've coached so many people who just never really got the foundations in place. That's they really right. maybe never even really understood how to work with sellers. They just were buyer's agents. And most people I talk to say, gosh, I really need help with time management, the fundamentals, um, having a good listing presentation. Like, what should my buyer consultation look like? Uh, I need help on uh, handling difficult issues that I run into and negotiating better. Okay, we cover all of that in here. Uh, so that's all, for example, in module one, and then we move on into module two and it's building your database and getting referrals. And so I designed this from the perspective of all the years that we've coached and how to not overwhelm people. You need the foundations, you need a business plan. Now you need to start talking to the people that you know, if you're new, you have to let people know you're new in the business. If you're seasoned, you need to reconnect with the people that you haven't been staying in touch with. And we, we cover the foundations of building your database, getting people into a CRM, um, how do you make those initial connections or reconnections? What does an annual connection plan look like? Um, how do you create a local monthly newsletter, which I have found to be the most uh, powerful reconnection for seasoned agents working with me on our team? We talk about tips on calls, texts, and notes, how to cultivate, repeat, and referral business, all in module two. Right. And then let me just let me let me just say uh, the the key thing that Dan just talked about in just that in module two is developing and building and learning how to actually utilize your CRM. And the CRM is going to be the magic key throughout this entire uh, course because we want you to know how to use and um, uh, um, be a master at your damn CRM. 100% use your damn CRM. We talk about that ad nauseum and it's whatever your CRM of choice is. Okay. We have our, I've used all of them. I'm currently using two different ones because I'm in you know two different systems at the moment. It's all good. You just have to know how to do it. And that's a great example of leveraging how if you take the time to put things and do things in there, then you free up the time to have a little bit more life balance, you know, yep. or go get another transaction. And remember, every module is building on something that you can go do this week. I can open a Nexus Open Houses, number three, Effective Open Houses. And in here, we cover everything from this open for business mindset. This is something I've been teaching for years. If you have no business right now, Okay, and we're as we record this, we're pretty much opening up across the country. We've been able as real estate agents to do open houses for quite a while during the pandemic. Um, I know there's not a lot of inventory, but there are more houses coming onto the market again. As, Absolutely. As to this. So here's the deal. If, if you didn't have any business, if you just held an open house two or three times a week for 12 weeks, you would 100 percent get six transactions out of that. OK, just a minimum, just doing open houses and following a success plan, which we show you in here, how to create an open house kit. We talk about finding and selecting an open house, how to get open houses uh, from other agents that aren't even in your company, how to work with them on that, how to promote and advertise, prepare the dialogues, the scripts that you'd use, the examples of ads that you should run uh, for your open house, how to use social media to get people to show up to your big open house how to conduct it, the open house, and even how to conduct a virtual open house. If you still have clients that are out of state, out of the country, how do you conduct a virtual open house? We show you two or three ways to do that, okay? Then and really and truly, and honestly, what Jan was just talking about, it's not just holding an open house of your business, because that is just not the truth, right? It's holding an effective open house. And I guarantee you, there are people out there listening right now. They're like, ah, I don't get business out of open house. Well, that's because you're not doing your open house right. And that's right. just, you know, you might not want to hear that, but it's the honest to God's truth, right? You need to hold effective open houses or don't even do it. Go do something else. Right. So this, 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 I love this, this, mo there are a few modules that I just, I love, right? And I've, yeah. I've been through the back end of these things a million times. This is a great one because this is an easy thing that's very cost effective for anybody that's in real estate to go out there and get clients, but you have to do it right. And then here's the thing. We're again, building, right? Foundations, business plan. We just talked about connecting with the database, the people that you know, building your sphere of influence list. Now we're just doing the next easiest, most cost effective thing that you can do for the your real estate business and get business and it's open houses. Okay. That's right. Now we're going to get into a whole module on just working with buyers. And in this section, we are following a concept that I have referred to on the podcast a few times. And we've been sharing bit pieces of this already is BDA before, during and after, because I am a big systems person. So if you really are going to run your business as a true business, and when you're working with buyers and sellers, we'll get to that in a sec, you must have your processes and systems for what you do to generate buyers to work with you, how to nurture them. That's the before. What you do when you're under, when you're starting to show homes and put them under contract to close it. And then what do you do after the sale? So 
we cover that in the buyer program, the before, the artist showing homes. I personally love this particular module because I feel like it's a lost art. There is an yeah. art showing homes and converting people and, and, and getting them to you know write the contract. So we go through that. We talk about how to write and submit an offer, meaning the skills are around that, the negotiation techniques, how to get your offer accepted. We're not going to talk about how to write the offer. Okay. I mean, we're not going to fill contracts out, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about negotiating and closing and, and, and be, do something I call collaborative deal making with the other agent. And then a great after the sale uh, connection plan, we're going to share with you what we do with our team and, and what we do and show you how to implement the same things to have an after the sale program. Uh, we're going to talk about selling as well. We have a whole it's section of selling new homes. It's interesting to me because I think a lot of times when new agents get into the business, they are taught really early on that you don't want to be a buyer's agent. You want to be, you know, list the last. I mean, which is not wrong. But at the same time, if you're not cultivating, cultivating those buyers and treating those buyers with the respect and following up with them and putting them into your pipeline, and your referral system, you're missing out on such a huge mm -hmm. part of your business. And I really think people use that buyer part. Let's churn and burn, get to where I can be a listing agent. And then they, you are not setting yourself up for long term success that way. So I'm telling you, our buyer program here, the things that Jan talked about right there with the BDA are huge as far as yeah. sustaining your business long term. And that's the key to the business, right? If you're going to set yourself Absolutely. up to do your business as a business. And and one of the things is you're you're looking, you might attract buyers who need to sell a house first. Some people start looking for homes, come out to open houses, they have to sell a house first. So you need to know both sides. But Matt, we've been in this a long time and we find that a lot of new and newer agents tend to gravitate to buyers first because they're not as confident with the listing. That's um, right. And then kind of fall into buyers and they don't really go after listings. And so this program is going to give have you be well balanced and handle it all. And you know what's funny? I think when you and I got in the business, which was, you know, several years ago, yeah, <laughs> um, ago. you did sometimes have to show uh, buyers 50 homes, right? You don't have to do that anymore. That's not the way the world works. We're going to show you how to circumvent all of that getting in the car and showing homes for, you know, ever and ever. Right, and ever. Right. getting in your car anyway we talk That's, about that i mean yeah buyers, exactly exactly to your, point, Matt, world buyers is today, to your point buyers today have already done all the work they've for six yeah. months been looking hopefully you've been nurturing them on their website and then they're finally ready to go buy and they kind of know what they want and it shouldn't take long good point right love it it's a different so story get, than it was before it is before we get into the uh, because because the consumers have all the information at their hands now right uh before we move into what we do with sellers we we decided to put a module in called personality communication styles in the sales cycle and this is this is one of my favorite trainings to teach as well because we do need to get into the psychology of selling we want to talk about how you can communicate better when you're clear about who you are, your personality style, your preferred way of communicating, and then uh, be able to identify that in your uh, client. And uh, you have to work with people in different ways to get them to close, to, to, to have a better experience. And you do that when you understand it and you can honor the way they see things and, and not get frustrated. So we cover the four personality styles, the three ways people communicate. We do use the disc profile, but also have a version of the way I like to train it and use it. And it's, they're all similar. And we talked to you about if you're working with a certain personality style, how, what are they looking for? How do they make their decisions? And we break the four key ones down and, and show you how to do that. But first we get you to do it for yourself and do some homework on that for yourself. And then we take it into the sales cycle and the sales cycle from how do you prospect and build rapport so you can move people through presenting what it is that they need all the way through to, you know, a listing and a sale, taking care of that, closing it, and then getting repeat and referral business. So love that. Module one. five, is module five is my absolute favorite module in this whole entire program. And it would be okay. the one if you're looking at it on paper, you would say to yourself, well, this has nothing to do with real estate, but it has everything to do with real estate and life in general. I just think it's it's that whole communication piece is so important, not only in your business, but also in your life. So if you actually pay attention to what's going on in module five, you, you will have a better quality of life all around. So there's a byproduct of this that's outside of the business right here. I love it. I love it. All right. So then we get into sellers and there's so much to train to working with sellers and listings that we put two different modules together and we broke it into two sections. So module six is 
working with sellers, the beginning, and in here we're covering what are the skill sets that you're going to really have to work on and refine if you haven't done sell listings before or you're new and you want to learn. And this is things like negotiation and presenting, and we get into that. And then we cover the seller sales cycle and that BDA concept before, during, and after. Uh, then we get into strategies to attract sellers. We go down and we get into here are the ways you can find sellers. We, we give you the lead generation tactics, um, the ways to do it, the things to say, the scripts, the whole nine yards. Uh, we then break a whole lesson into just working with expires and the, the best system I know that works for expires. Then a whole different approach to working for sell by owners. It's a little slightly different than the expired system. And then how to leverage your own listings. When you take a listing, how do you turn that into more business? We give you very specific strategies and tactics for that. Uh, we also now jump into, so that's all the prospecting. Then it's how do you qualify the seller in that initial phone call to close for the appointment? And then how do you prepare for the listing appointment? That's all in module six, working with sellers. Then you get all that in place and we give you all the action items and things that you need to do just to get that to get that ready. And then in uh, number seven is the actual listing presentation and then marketing and servicing the listing. Right. So now we're going to go over our pre-listing approach. I hands down believe the pre-listing approach is way to do listings, yeah. how to leverage video with that we get into how to customize. We're going to give you a pre-listing presentation in this program to take and customize it. Uh, then we get into how what needs to be in your listing presentation and you decide what marketing that you're going to provide your marketing commitment. We talk about the three P's of the listing presentation, the new three P's, and this is what they are, preparation, pricing, and promotion. They're not put it in the MLS, put a sign in the yard, and pray that it sells. That's what everybody else is doing. We show you how to leverage how there's so many lazy agents out there, especially in a hot market, that aren't doing uh, I think the most buy a seller and it's the, what you should be doing in any market, buyer market, seller market, any of it. We cover common seller objections and how to handle them. We actually have the scripts of how to handle that for you. And then we get into the checklist. We've given you a checklist for the buyer. We're also giving you a checklist. That's the before, during and after checklist that you take and customize for your area where you do business. Okay. Uh, I can't believe how much as I sit here and go through this, I really am like, wow, I don't, I think we're undercharging for this program. Uh, we're going to make it affordable for you. Hang in there. Farming strategies um, is number eight. Now, farming is more than geographic. Okay. So in this program, we, in this module, we are going to cover how the step-by-step -step process to research and select a geographic farm, how you can continue to connect and gain uh, and build credibility in a farm and a geo farm, uh, some advanced geo farm strategies. But then I'm also going to get into a little bit on niche and target marketing farming ideas, how to build an agent network, uh, how to leverage LinkedIn a little bit to find people that are in your niche. And so we're going to talk about other really cool ideas around farming and then share all that information with you as well. And then now we get into social media and online presence. Okay. So, I mean, honestly, there's things here in this social media class that you probably need to do in the beginning, but we, it can only cover so much. I mean, this is the problem. Everybody's always overwhelmed. So this is the way we did it. But the, but the beautiful part about when you have our program is, it's not like we lock all the modules up. You get the program, you have access to all of them right away, and you can jump into where you need. Um, but we've designed the program for those people who want to start and, and just sequentially build on their systems while they're getting business week after week after week. Now, social media and online presence is everything from how important it is to establish your online presence, the places you need to go for free. So when somebody puts your name in Google, they find you and you control the narrative. So we got everything here from how to write a bio to set up your Zillow profile, your realtor profile, how to set up Google My Business, so important right now, uh, yep. how to claim Yelp if you want Yelp. What a little bit of the idea around you can't be all things to all people on every social media platform. So we're going to walk you through how do you choose which social media platforms you need to be on? Is it more than one? Should you just choose one? We really firmly believe you should choose a lane, right? Pick one. You may use the others, but you're going to focus on one. And then, and then we get into all of the, how do you figure that out? And it's all about who's your perfect client and where are they? And what do you like to do? We get into that. We are, we do show you how to create a, a business profile on Facebook. And we also show you how to create a LinkedIn all-star profile. Even though we have a LinkedIn course, a really detailed LinkedIn course coming, we're going to give you all that in this program. We talk about how to leverage social media, uh, a video on social media, and how to use Canva. 
you know, some beginning stuff. Matt gets into some things on Canva. We're huge Canva users. Uh, yep. Probably we'll add some bonus material there. Um, you know, maybe Matt, what we should do, and now that I think about it, is I like the idea of having like um, the curated best Canva uh, training in our course, mm -hmm. right? Like go watch these Canva course. You know, we can add that as bonus stuff because there's so much stuff on the Canva training that maybe we could say, here's the four you need to go watch, you know, yeah, to definitely. really understand Canva. All right, so now you're doing social media and online presence and that takes us to number 10 and we're gonna get into the details of online lead generation and conversion. So in this module, we really set the expectations of, of the reality check of what it takes to do well with online leads and what tools you must have if you're gonna do it. If you're gonna spend any money on Facebook or Google or anywhere, what do you have to do? We, 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 we designed a really cool sales funnel based on our experience that uh, Matt did actually. I just told Matt what I liked and he designed it. Um, and then we talk about where can you get leads uh, for organically by through your social media channels to where, where do you get them for paid? Where are the best places to get paid sources? And you know what are the pros and cons of that? We do a little bit of a Facebook advertising overview and Cosmo has, a, there's two bonus there, how to post, post, how to run an ad, a lead gen ad. Uh, we are coming out later in the year with a, a Facebook ads course. So this is just a little how to get it going here with Facebook if you want to do it. Uh, and then we get into now that you have leads, what do you do with them? How do you initially connect with them? What do you, what are, we give you the scripts, we give you the um, text and the email templates to implement into your CRM for your initial 30 to 45 day initial connection campaign. And then what are the best effective ways to nurture your leads long-term so they stay in your system, they're in your CRM, they're on your website searching until they're ready to buy or sell and what you need to do to stay top of mind with them. Love that module. This is what everybody really wants to know is how do you do it? Well, you're gonna find, by the way, there's a theme here. You don't do it all. You you, you come to this right. training to learn what is, what's your groove? What's the thing you're good at? You know, and again, database always, your sphere and two more. That's what I think. Choose two more to master and then do it consistently. And you may, you may be um, open houses and I am a FISBO queen. Awesome. And if you want to really master this business, you cannot go this way and do too many things. You can't like be doing 10 things because it takes focus and repetition and expertise in whatever you choose and doing it consistently to make it work. It's just the way it is, right, Matt? So every one of these trainings, I'm like, okay, we're going to talk to you about how you can be successful on Facebook. And here's the story. You have to do it every day. That's Insert right. whatever it is that we're going to be talking to you about, and there'll be a common theme. You must. This must be part of your daily one hour to two hours of what you're doing, whatever it is you're choosing. Now, we're going to introduce you to the main things that you can do. I, I don't really think there's much else that could be covered in this course, to be honest. And it no. is a little bit overwhelming if you think you're supposed to master it all. The goal here is to get you to understand what you have to do and help you figure out what you're good at. What is your natural expertise in? You may not realize that you maybe you're good at just networking events. That maybe wasn't your thing before, but man, you're good at that. Or you're okay with knocking on doors. Very few people are, you know, but there are people who do well with that because they're good face to face. So we're going to help you with all of that. So online lead generation is, is, there is no magic pill is, is the thing. And, and 30 years into this, I, this is what everybody wants. They have a real estate license and they think they're gonna make $100,000 and they can if they follow something like this program we put together and you actually implement it. You don't go get a license and put a few things on Instagram and sit back and you know wait for the sales to roll in. It's work, folks. It's work, but it's rewarding and you can make so much more money than you've probably ever made in anything else you've done if you're willing to do what it takes. And Matt, this is the bottom line. Even though I think we've created a program that is just, I'd stand up to anybody's program, honestly. Um, and if it was worked properly, it would help, but it's gonna help you understand if you wanna do real estate, number one. But, but here, here's the deal. There is a reason why 70 to 70 to 80% of the people are out of the business two years after they have a license because they, they, they aren't willing to do what it takes to make the business work. And those right. that do make it through the tough first year or two of, of getting this all right and getting comfortable with it. And then they are like the ones that are up here making multiple, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars a year or more. 
if that's what drives you. Okay, it's doable, right? Okay, and then the last two systems that we have for you in number 11, we, we come back and we talk about, we've gone now through 10 modules and we want to really start bringing it home into a couple more things. So here we talk about business systems, revisiting the business systems you've already started to work on. We get into deeper on uh, niche marketing, choosing a specialty and the things that you can do with that how to discover what you're good at. Cause now you've gone through some weeks and maybe figured out some things and we're going to help you with that and share all our best strategies of what you need to do to get the most out of a niche because you're passionate about it and you like it. We'll review your buyer and seller BDA system and remind you to come back in and now fine tune it. Cause maybe you've started some closings and so on. We get into the whole client review process in this module, how to handle negative reviews, how to get more reviews on all the important sites like Zillow and Google. Then we get into um, a little bit more advanced on your client appreciation program. We kind of revisit one of your, your core system of your database and then give you some more ideas. So we, we started in module two with the basics and now we're gonna give you even more ideas for the most important system after your business plan, which is your database and getting referrals. And then we share our best time management tips and produ productivity apps to implement into your system. And it brings us to number 12, which is the business and financial fundamentals to, for any business, to be honest, right, Matt? We're gonna talk about running your business as a real business and you're not just a salesperson. You're a business owner and an entrepreneur that has systems in place so that you could ultimately one day exit the business, sell your business, your systems, your database, or train your replacement and make residual income, right? So there we talk about what's revisit your business plan, key metrics for your plan, what are those essential business systems and a little checklist on making sure you're working on them. It'll take a while to get them the way you need them to be. Uh, we also talk about whether you should incorporate and um, full disclosure, of course, we're not attorneys or CPAs, but we definitely know what the benefits of incorporating are and we cover those. And then um, best practices to reduce your overall risk liability and that concludes our program. We, it's very well-rounded. And when you get all that done, you're going to be like, I own this. I own this real estate business. I got it. I understand it. Okay. So, so here, here's the deal. We're going to retail this program at 397. Yes, I know all that training for $397. Honestly, um, as I look at that and think about all the work and all the things that we have here, that is, and we want to make it affordable for people. So 397 to learn everything you need to do to be successful in the business is a bargain. But all you faithful listeners or folks that are finding us on YouTube, you just need to know that when we launch the program, we're going to be giving a 50% discount to our, um, you know, listeners. Okay. So 197, you get all of this training and we want to do that to launch and get the word out and maybe get some feedback. And the other thing that we're going to do is when we launch this, and again, we're launching this July 15th. Uh, or sooner, we depending on if we have enough folks interested, we may be able to announce a uh, uh, a support group or a mastermind that we'll do that won't cost you anything additional. Where we'll we'll basically be your coaches through those through those pro, through the program. Okay. What's beautiful about this program to me is so many real estate programs, especially for that are kind of designed to help you get your your systems in place. It, it, it focuses on whatever the coach and trainer's idea of what they need, what the agent needs to go out and do. So it's kind of like one size kind of is supposed to fit all. That's not what real estate is. And that's not what business is all about. That's not why people are getting into business. You're getting in it to be your own business or your own uh, owner, business owner. Our program is designed to help you internalize, see all the options out there and then design the business that's gonna work the best for you. The way you do business is gonna be different than the way I do business and that's okay. So every single person that, that purchases and goes through the Real Estate Sales Builder program is actually gonna have a different program and a different business that they're going to come out at the other end of. And that is huge. That's in, it actually industry just breaking because that no one has a program like that. This program is designed for you to build the best business for you to succeed, period. End, end of story, right? Full stop. So we're not gonna tell you what to do. We're gonna show you all the avenues to go down and then we're gonna show you how to freaking do it and then make real estate the best career choice you could possibly make. Absolutely, and, and we're saying 12 weeks to, to a minimum of six transactions or six plus because I really do believe if you implement the program, it is doable, even as a newer agent, um, to get six six transactions in under contract. They may not all close by the time the program is done, 
but six six is doable and it's all about what you believe you don't go through the program and then say i'm going to now go do it that's what i was saying from the that's right you're going to set program goals you might want to do more than six transactions but you can do six transactions if you actually do the work and get out and, and prospect each day so uh, there it is. All right. So we're excited about that. That is our real estate sales builder program. It has been a lifetime in the making. We're moving forward. Get up and get out and, and be forever get- wandering, but not lost. Right.